Like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna probably drop out. No, 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 no. Don't, no, no, don't. Why are you gonna drop out? Why, why? Don't think I have it in me. I think I'm done. Please not go. This challenge is not what I expected it to be. All right, well, I have some news for you. <clears throat> Since Holly quit on basically day two, we're gonna get a new partner out here. We're gonna just restart. Okay. Okay? Okay. And then y'all will start a new 21-day challenge. You know, cross my fingers that the partner I'm gonna, I'm gonna get is really strong and just really into getting through this as, as I am. My name is Amber, I'm 32 years old, and I'm a U.S. Army instructor. I'm ex-soldier, military. I've been to Iraq, I've been shot at, I shot back. My partner, as long as he's motivated, I know he has the will to go, we're great. But if he's lazy, I will be busting his stick. Oh, you must be my partner, you're naked. Hi. <laughs> this is becoming a bit of a habit for us, I guess. Amber. Amber, Don, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm excited to rock this, are you? Yeah, All definitely. Right, double whammy then. Woo! We gotta do this. I'm yeah. excited, so. I'm just really glad to have a partner who's like, just came came right out of the truck, super excited. To get a second chance with a, a partner who's already experienced, it's amazing. Cool. All right, let's get going. Okay, yeah, the little poach starts over here. And this is it. Uh. Here's the old fire ring. Here's remnants of the old bed. It's Holly's old place, so I would like yeah. to start something new with you so that way we can have good juju. Good luck over there. <laughs> Definitely, okay, I understand. Okay. Let's go, I, I haven't explored this way. Let's keep going this way so you can find All the right, nice All right, let's site. go up farther. Well, let's figure out where we want to set up camp. I mean, we should start there. We can use that tree right there and make a shelter out of it. Yeah, I think Amber is really strong. I love her outgoing attitude. She's a go-getter. Drag that big one back. This Amber, one? drag that big log back. Oh. I'm gonna have to take a break for a second. This log's kinda heavy. That was funny. Just go ahead and carry that log back. It's a log, <laughs> not a stick. I noticed I do a little bit more of heavy work than him, but that's fine. Amber, you're about to enjoy the wonder. That is the marula. Ooh, that's good. And we could have a couple a day, we'd be great. Yeah, two a day at least. I'd I like, I prefer five a day. I'm all about eating fruits and stuff, but my partner is absolutely obsessed with the amarillos, which is good. If, if that's what his body's craving, that's fine, but they're very acidy, so it's kind of starting to hurt my stomach. Not gonna lie. So it's pretty late in the night. My stomach and my abdomen are rolling right now. So I'm really hoping this is gonna be gone because it hurts so bad. <sighs> okay. Yeah. What the f is going on? Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day, but I'm feeling pretty f right now. Ooh, what's that? Is that you? That's me, don't look at it. That was an emergency situation. Y'all just, when you get back, you can I'll bury, cover it. bury that. It just sucks because it's so easy to transfer that between person to person, you know? So, just be, you gotta be careful. I cannot transfer dysentery to you. No, 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 like fecal oral transfer. No, yeah, that's, that's how you right. get. That's how you get it. I know, yeah, I, I know. wash my hands. I know, but. Leaving it around camp, the flies can bring it around too. We gotta be really careful about that. He can kiss my It's not about him being worried about it, but he has to give me like a spiel instead of saying, why don't you just bury it? And I was gonna do that today, but last night my stomach was so shaky. I'm feeling it again now. I'm kind of like, ah. The forecast I saw before I hopped off the truck was that in five days from insertion day, there would be cloudy weather moving in, chance of rain. The only thing I'm worried about is about the rain is that at nighttime, 
the breeze kicks up and the rain comes down. It's 60 degrees with rain and it wetted out insulation. That's a good risk of hypothermia. That'd probably disqualify us immediately. We'd have to tap out. Last night was very cold, very windy, very rainy. It's better just to be safe and sorry. We got to do the palm mission. Because I was like getting to the edge of hypothermia, you know? I start shivering and that'd be probably. I would rather stay here and collect wood while you did that. No, no, come on, come on with me. We, we can both no. do the wood together. No. We can both do the palms together. We don't know. You can go by yourself and, and collect the palms. He wants to just keep pushing me. And I'm like, if I don't sit down and let my body heal, I'm going to be totally I really want you to. I really want your support on this. I really think that we need a stronger shelter. I'm not giving your support. I am going to tell you to go get palms, and I will get the wood. She's probably getting a little bit irritated. I'm, I'm asking maybe more than she's capable of doing, but it's. But really, what I'm asking, what I'm asking is, for the both of us. My partner is very book smart. He is incredibly knowledgeable, which is a huge benefit out here. But here's the real deal. Until you come out here and experience it, all that knowledge means nothing. And trying to be Mr. Know-it-all all the time is just makes you wanna. Look at the monkeys in our backyard. Hello. Don't be picky, just cut a after chopping palm leaves for more than an hour to reinforce their shelter, Don and Ember head back to camp. Oh, look at the monkey, he's in our, he's in our shelter, you little Damn it, he took the fruit. I knew it, I told you he'd steal our Damn it. Ow. Damn it, what do we do? <gasps> it's straight up robbed in Africa. They don't even eat the whole thing, they just bite into it. <sighs> That's a huge loss right there. Moving forward for me, the biggest concern is food. So right now, I'm gonna teach Dawn how to make a spear. She's done this challenge before, and she's actually a, an actual veteran of the Army. And maybe she can teach me a thing or two. There's a definitely abundance of food out here, and we just have to find it. <laughs> He's the funniest spearfish I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> He'll get it, it's just gonna take some time. Don't hold your spear like a baby. Come on. Oh, I see one, I see one. Okay, I'm gonna try to get him. Little tilapia. Just go for it. Don't hesitate. Damn, it's too fast. He missed completely. Oh my God, my boot hurts so bad. I have implants, and when I laid on my boob last night, I felt liquid come out of it. I'm gonna try to stick it out as long as I can. Damn, the rain's back in. Oh. Okay. We gotta get a whole bunch, we gotta get like. Well, I'm gonna carry what I can and I'm heading back. Yeah. So. Bummer. Yeah, I'm just really hoping Amber would put, it, put out some more work. She's acting really nonchalant about camp chores. He's like, there you go. Pick up your two bundles, and I'm going to carry one. You can carry two now. We'll switch. How many pounds do they make you ruck in the Army? Uh, my body weight, pretty much, and I'm used to it. OK, cool. Just, just checking. That's a, see, this is what I mean. You're a man, OK? So you should be carrying the bigger load. I've done a lot more in my life than you. I've worked harder than you. I know, you, you worked very hard. You didn't you know, I didn't see combat. I didn't see combat like you did. I'm not saying overseas. that. That's not comparing I didn't fight anything. for my country, you know. You just need to stop acting like a kid. I appreciate you don't call me a kid and keep throwing your experience around. I appreciate your experience, but you, every time. You've been acting time, like a kid. What do you want me to call you? You've been acting like a young child. He is a hot mess at times. See, I just see what point you're trying to get across without name calling. You immediately went to the name calling. and Because when hurt, you act like you know? a kid, you should be called out on see, it. Look, when did I act like a kid, though? Oh, dear We can go through the conversations, honey. Come on. OK, yeah, yeah. You have all this stuff, stuff over me, and that, you know, that negativity is really getting to me. 
I was in so much pain today. My boob hurts so bad. It's like pulsating and it feels like every time I even touch it, it feels like a nerve's going through it. So, and I can handle pain, but this this is a bit much. It's yeah. like, I, it's torn and it hurts bad. And I'm in pain and I can't do anything about it. Mm-hmm. Going into day nine. Um, and severe pain on my boo. I think I'm gonna go. It doesn't even benefit me to say anything mean spirited right now. I just wanted to help me best I can and get ready for the long haul. I love you, okay? Me having to leave for my boob is just like, it's really sad. It really is, cause um, I know I can do it. It's embarrassing and now I'm gonna have to go have surgery probably. I hope Don's doing good out there. I really do, he, uh, he's got a good spirit. Woo! Woo! Even though Don spent 23 punishing days in Namibia, he only lost a total of 14 pounds. And during the final two weeks on his own, Don showed remarkable resilience as he battled loneliness and persevered in the face of life-threatening hypothermia. Demonstrating how a resourceful, self-motivated attitude can get a relatively inexperienced survivalist through the hardships of being naked and afraid. Be confident and get through even the hardest situation. <laughs>